everyone and welcome to my channel Wheel of Fortune Psychic Tarot. My name is Nia and in today's video we will be energetically visiting your lost loved ones in heaven and we will be checking in on them, how they're doing and of course what they want to say to you. So as you can see you have these three groups to choose from today. For group number one we have this Dreams Oracle card and the Tiger's Eye Crystal Drop. For group number two, we have the Retreat Oracle card and this Turquoise Howlite Drop. And for group number three, we have the Meditation Oracle card and this Rose Quartz Drop. All you need to do now, as always, is to focus your attention on the last loved one that you would like to connect with today. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, pause the video if you have to, and when you think you're ready, just see which one of these three groups calls your attention the most. Do not overthink it, let your intuition decide, and then you can have a look in the description box down below where you find the timestamps for each individual group. So I will see you there. Welcome to your reading group number one, everyone who resonated with the Dreams Oracle card and this beautiful Tiger's Eye Crystal Quartz. So today we will be energetically visiting your loved ones in heaven, we'll be checking in on them and we'll be asking them what it is that they want to convey to you, say to you. So please guys, you too, make sure you tune in to my energies that you allow for me to read your energies and um, yeah it's teamwork really between me you and your loved ones also by the way guys part of us is always in heaven our higher selves are always in heaven and judging from experience um, most of my viewers do not know what the higher self is please educate yourself about that our higher self is always in heaven is always connected to the divine and all the lost loved ones are there and the alive loved ones too so um, this is why we can do what we're doing today um, even though the reading is for the collective, as you guys know, not every single detail will resonate. Take what does, feel peaceful about what doesn't. It will be for someone else. I am uh, feeling quite a large group of your loved ones come through and the physical vessel that they associated themselves with when they were still alive was one where they had brown or warm eyes. Many of your loved ones had brown eyes um, and warm colored toned skin, like brown skin maybe, or like, you know, a warm complexion. They radiated a lot of warmth through the colors that their soul chose for the physical vessel. Um, or maybe like a warm dark blonde, like this lady here. I'm getting many men coming through, but again, it's not gender specific, this reading. It can be men, women, children, anyone. All right, but it feels nice to touch this crystal that they are also using to give me their energies to read them. I'm feeling so much warmth, guys. And I'm really inviting you to take a deep breath, close your eyes and feel this warmth. You should be able to feel literal warmth, a warm temperature going through your body and that's us connecting to your loved ones they're feeling so warm this warmth that you feel when you are in heaven everything feels so blissful and warm and i see golden colors your loved ones heaven the way they um picture it or wanted to describe to you is one that kind of looks like autumn you know warm colors like browns and tones of gold like goldy brown like this um tiger's eye crystal and that is amazing that feels so calm and look they are resting they need ca a calm heaven because they're resting they're sleeping in heaven they need to recover from a very um depending on their personal situation, very uh, heavy or uh, stressful um, lifetime where there was a lot going on and they just need to rest. 
uh, resting on this uh, pillow here, which is also, by the way, um, a brownish, uh, orangey autumn color. Um, this reminds me of a leopard pattern, so... Um, there is a connection here with a cat or with even like big cats, you know, like tigers or leopards. Um, I'm feeling an African connection here for some of you. Um, maybe are you from Africa or do you have African roots? I don't know, but they are resting. So like as we're visiting them, they're like radiating this calmness. This beautiful like sleeping beauty rest, but they're not sleeping because they're cursed. They're sleeping because they're blessed. This is the divine light here, this pink um, star, um, white light star actually with a pink aura. So they feel so loved and they feel so, so amazing. We see pink lilies here. That will be a sign for you. So know that um, it's like they're having their batteries recharged for a new lifetime. And um, if they were a hardworking person or a person who was very um, busy or maybe even very stressed, know that what they're experiencing right now is the complete opposite. So they're sleeping. Sleeping with the angels. Let's get some more oracle cards. <clears throat> they were kindly gifted to me as well as the crystals. Whoopsie. And if anyone else would like to gift some cards or crystals, I have an Amazon wishlist link down below. But look, music. I I love music. If you know me, you know why. And we have an angel here playing the flute. It's like this angel is serenading your loved ones and playing them sweet lullabies for healing. That's what they are experiencing, guys. And please, we are visiting them energetically. Just imagine your loved one resting on a beautiful cloud surrounded by warm golden colors and an angel of love playing sweet lullabies and your loved ones are having the most amazing dreams. I feel like they are already dreaming about their next lifetime. Lullaby. And also, look, gold. There is something about gold, gold brown, or like how we say bronze hair, like brown and blonde hair that will resonate for a few of you. Also, this angel has this warm color and the music here is written in brown and gold. So they are tuning into the divine rhythms of angel music i can hear it i can feel it honestly tune into that energy it will heal your heart too i love that i hope that when i go to heaven there'll be violin angels waiting for me what else nature that's interesting i love that this card is purple so if you're a member of the purple heart family this is for you, this angel's purple. They have purple wings and like a um, pink dress. Um, I'm getting a specific vibe from this. I feel like this is you guys watching. So if you have been praying for your loved ones and performing some rituals, like leaving flowers at their resting place, or if you have an altar, if you have been singing to them, if you have been uh, lighting candles for them, if you have been dedicating, I feel like someone here has dedicated something very special to your loved ones. Maybe you named a child after them or you dedicated a project to them or like even like there's something about naming something after them maybe you bought a boat and named it after your loved one has anyone done that regardless of what you have been doing it works your energies transform because they are love energies they transform into these heavenly blessings so your loved ones are literally uh, bathing and sleeping in this love vibration that you keep on sending them so you're kind of an earth angel for them what else? Children. Okay, so your loved ones, you could have children with them, but I feel the strongest message here is, and again, they have golden brown hair, bronze hair. I told you they are dreaming about their next incarnation. So after this dream, they will come back, obviously, as children. 
Um, and guys, we choose our next lifetimes, our higher selves, not your brain right now that you use to um, turn on your device to watch my reading. That's not your higher self. The higher self is the brain of the soul. That brain chooses with our spirit guides the next incarnation. And I feel like your loved one's angels here with the music and the love there's, they're serenading them with are uh, helping them visualize what they want their next lifetime to look like. So they're talking about their rebirth. And do not stress about missing your loved ones if they reincarnate before you do. Time doesn't work in a uh, logical um mathematical physical way that we learn it here um, time in spirituality works different so you won't miss out on them now what about that i'm curious whoops they come out flying ideas and inspiration guys i told you they are dreaming they are visualizing their next lifetime and look i feel like they are at the stage now where they choose their parents because we choose our parents our higher selves choose the parents we choose the families that we want to bo get born into we choose the country we choose the people that we meet and they are getting ideas and inspiration with the help of the angels about the mother that they choose and guys many people have described that they remember um what happened before they were born and some remember visiting their parents and even um which is a bit intimate but um witnessing the moment where they were created by their parents and they do that from heaven so they are choosing their mother now which is very interesting i love that now let's get some tarot cards bought them myself they're purple guys please drop me a purple heart if you are a member of the purple heart family if you appreciate what i'm doing if you want other people like you to find me be this purple earth angel drop me a purple heart like this video everything helps now what do they want to say to you I feel like they want to inspire you too when you join them maybe in the next incarnation. Let's see what they want to say. <laughs> Look, Eight of Earth. Education, focus, details. This is also green. So they are working out a life plan for their next incarnation. And this is in the reverse. That means uh, they haven't obviously completed it yet. They have been through their life review, but they're dreaming about their new existence. And I feel like they might want to invite you to kind of join in because you have been doing stuff for them. What about that? Yes, yes, six of fire, success, recognition, self ex recognition, self esteem. Uh, by the way, she looks like i don't know you might look like her for some of you obviously only you might look like her i feel like but anyways regardless of what you look like and guys do not take too much pride in what you look like in your race your ethnicity your name your religion because that changes in every lifetime do not in get involved with your physicality so much because if you do that you are earthbound you um will have a very hard time to transition and to choose a new lifetime be very open okay but here look she's holding this wand in her hand that is you and you can be a man but they kind of want you to participate in that so keep on sending them positive energies and you guys you too think about from a place from a higher place not from your ego mind think from a higher place from from your heart what would you want your future incarnation to look like with this person because you are allowed to meet them again but what do you want to do better and don't focus on little details like next time we have an argument i'm not gonna throw a plate across the room now be like next time we meet i want to be um, more calm and choose communication over reacting and being triggered like make it very simple focus on peace and love if you do that right now you're not just manifesting their next lifetime but yours as well like you can do a lot and keep on educating yourselves about the higher self about um 
soul contracts and such king of water look compassionate understanding trustworthy there's a tree the tree of life and this guy touches his heart i feel like um you know the majority of my audience are obviously women i feel like i have some men watching now but regardless of your gender, because that might change, you might become a man in your next lifetime and vice versa. This is about being more in your water energy. And here it says compassion, understanding, trustworthy. So if you are a fire sign or an earth sign or an air sign, it could be that in your next lifetime, you will choose to be a water sign or to have or be one again to be more in tune with your water energies so that you will be more compassionate and understanding and you are already doing the job because you've been praying for your loved ones but that is something that you need to um, manifest a life where you're more connected to your heart space and to your higher self to your soul well, i'm getting such good vibes from the mother your loved ones are choosing now because it could be that they had a very problematic um connection with their parents in this past lifetime i feel like their new mother will be um the complete opposite she will be kind of angelic what do they want to say to you this was oh look guys the empress in the reverse now it could also be that in your next lifetime you will be your loved one's mother and so many people are so ego oriented that if you were lovers in this lifetime, you want to be lovers forever. But guys, the truth is you will not always have the same relationship with your loved one. They could have been your romantic partner now, but in your next lifetime, you could be parent and child. That's just the reality of it. If that triggers you, don't watch my readings because I'm here to tell the truth. Only the truth will help you. You want to experience everything as a soul when you incarnate. And if you only choose the very same gender the very same relationship the same country same ethnicity you're so narrow-minded you only experience one tiny part you want to experience it all that's why you are here and it could be that you will be their parent in your next lifetimes and again if they incarnate before you that's not really before you you can be there in this lifetime with them right now living parallel lives do not judge time based on your ego brain here creation abundance action so guys take action now and manifest love and compassion understanding trust loyalty generic high vibrational concepts for your next relationship also it could be that some of your loved ones will be your child in this lifetime the next reading that will go up after this is if your loved ones will reincarnate into your current lifetime if you are expecting right now or if you have the very close family member or a very close friend who is expecting right now i believe they're coming back to you guys this is infinite motherly love here the empress card so you will be together again and i have a strong feeling that it will be a parent child connection let me know if you are pregnant right now i can think of one of my viewers who is um destiny if you're watching this is definitely for you i can feel your energies and guys, I read all of my comments, every single comment I read. And you know this, I respond to every single comment, also the nasty ones. And uh, I remember you. If you're someone who comments frequently, I remember you. I remember your energies and I see your energies. So Destiny, you always comment. You're so lovely. And your loved one's coming back if you're watching. Now some final words unbound releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives yeah release the ego release everything that holds you back release anger release grudges release old patterns don't hang on to old concepts be very open-minded as to what your new connection will be like and that's how you resolve karma that's how you untie karmic patterns Okay, that's how you make sure the next soul contract is a fair one. And one that helps everyone. Mirror, who or what is triggering you? Yeah, if the truth triggers you guys, don't reject it. Work with it. 
People who trigger you, they are your greatest teacher. Situations that harm you are the greatest lesson. Don't reject something if it triggers you. Look into it deeper if it triggers you. Like someone here, um, this, this is obviously very specific. And again, this could be destiny and possibly some other um, people watching. I can think of a few, but I'm not going to call everyone out here. Um, I see um, a mother being pregnant with um, a baby daddy that looks like him. Definitely. So that's just something spirit told me. Someone here is pregnant or has someone close to them who's pregnant. Also, someone here watching will be a grandmother soon. And that's the loved one coming back as your grandchild. And the father, for some of you, will look like this guy. A very sweet, understanding, compassionate father figure. Lemuria, creating heaven on earth is happening. Yes, they are dreaming heaven into existence, guys. And heaven can be a place on earth. Hell can be a place on earth. It's all up to us and what we make of it. But guys, um, I love that they are trying to create your loved ones a blissful new um, beginning based on love and compassion and um like motherhood, love through motherhood. I love that so much. If you love this reading too, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment, subscribe. If you want to become a member of the Purple Heart family, turn on the bell for notifications so that you will never miss out on a new reading on my channel in the future. Take super good care and to soon hopefully. Bye-bye. Hi everyone and welcome to your reading, everyone who resonated with group number two, the turquoise howlite and the retreat oracle card. We will be energetically um, visiting your loved ones in heaven and um, yeah, we'll see how they're doing and what they want to say to you. This is possible because our higher selves are always in heaven. We are always connected to the divine at the same time as we are alive here on planet Earth or on other uh, planets, okay, that's the reason why we can live. Because the divine is what gives us life. So that's how it works, guys. And um, yeah, just keep in mind the reading is as mostly for a huge collective. So take what does, feel peaceful about what doesn't, it will be for someone else. Now I'm getting very, I'm hearing ethereal vibes, guys. I am a very musical person. So sound, um, and by the way, many people who um, research the afterlife say that the way communication works in heaven is a combination of music and um, math. So... I can kind of feel that. I, f I hear ethereal sounds. I hear the word ethereal sounds. It's like angel choirs, but it's not actual voices. It's a vibration that transforms into sound. And your loved ones, they can be male, female, young, old, whatever. But, you know, when we are truly in heaven, we lose everything that the ego chose. So our gender, ethnicity, and all of that, we lose it. We are just... A divine being that's connected to the all there is to love and light and they they are like this they are in total bliss and they needed this retreat really badly because some of your loved ones could have had a very dark life depression maybe they ended their own lives and um, severe illness or just bitterness but they made it to the light they came out of this darkness and they as well as everyone else chose their lifetime, we choose our lifetimes not based on the ego brain, the brain of the body that solves math issues, that um, knows your passwords to everything. No, the brain of the soul, which is the higher self, guys. Educate yourselves on that. Many people do not know the difference. That higher self's brain chooses lives chooses karmic lessons your loved one chose darkness in order to experience light you do not know what the light is if you don't know what darkness is we incarnate because we want to experience everything the good and the bad and now they realize that the place we all come from heaven is nothing but pure white light and bliss and look how this angel has her eyes closed and she um, reaches out her hands and she is just 
so relieved. Your loved ones are so relieved from this pain. I feel like a lot of mental illness affected them as well. They're just so free. It's like when you have a very dirty old cloth and you give it a wash and now it's fresh and clean and it smells amazing. That's how your loved ones feel. They have reached the mountain peak and they are holding out their hands and their arms to the divine and they are receiving this blissful energy. This is so amazing. And I'm hearing these sounds and guys, we are there energetically. So please, Open up your hearts and close your eyes. And do you hear that sound? Do you feel the vibration in your chest? You know, when there's a heavy bass line in a song or when you play live music, how it makes your chest vibrate, you should be feeling that right now. So they are in a retreat, healing retreat. Um, and the f this is the river of life. I think um, if I have some Hindus watching who know about their religion, I feel like you guys have a metaphor in um, your religious scriptures that sees um, the stream of energy that is life as a river. So the river brought them straight to heaven. And when they jump back in that, into that river, river, they will be washed to a new incarnation. And um, there is something about water here. This turquoise howlite islands. Hmm. Hang on, I'm going to see what psychic downloads they want to give me. Yeah, like they know that all their wounds and scars and damage were they're choosing. So know that they are fine with their fate and you will be too once you cross over because you're connected to your higher self. They are fine and they know that, you know, what What makes this how light unique and beautiful is the little cracks and those little cracks, they decorate our soul, so to say, but this crystal is still whole and so is your loved one and they're feeling so whole right now. So I love that. Let's get some more of these angel cards. Look at these angel wings and I see faces in the angel wings, guys, and our angels are always available to us. They always hear us. Your angels always hear you. It's just that you can't always hear them back, but they speak to you. I see a mouth here. So be more in tune with your higher selves, with your soul. Get rid of all distractions and negative self-talk and you will hear them speak back to you and give you signs. Um, I see needles. Is someone here um, knitting or stitching or sewing or something? Someone here is sewing. Are you doing that while you're listening to my video? If you're doing that, I see you. Like, I see your energies as well, guys. So let's see what else there is about your loved ones in heaven. Someone here is sewing. I see those needles. Nature, this card fell out in group number one as well. Nature and nature retreat, they are in this paradise dimension, your loved ones. And I'm inviting you to listen to some guided meditations about paradise. Ask your angels for guidance and then look up something on YouTube and you will find the right video. Do a guided meditation that takes you to a nature retreat for healing for the soul. Do that, guys. So you can experience a tiny bit of what your loved ones are experiencing. And when you are in that state, you can truly visit them and maybe you can feel that presence. Listen to a nature retreat guided meditation on YouTube. And really give it the time and dedication that it needs. Because nothing comes easy. Wow, intention. Oh, I love... Mm. Yeah, I love purple. You know why? It's the crown chakra color. It's my, it's my vibe here on this channel. That's why we have created the purple heart family. If you're a member of the purple heart family, like leave some purple hearts in the comments. It, it makes my heart thrive when I see them. And I love that we have a purple angel here. I posted a purple angel twice in my community um, section. And this says intention. So this is talking about you. Your angels are talking to you here. If you have the intention to visit your loved ones in heaven or to just, you know, visit your own heaven where you find um, comfort because the world is such an ugly place, you can. But it takes dedication and intention and um, education. That's why I'm doing the work here on my channel and I'm seeing the letter A. 
I see many names that start with A, Angela. Angela means angel, okay? Also see my own name here, which starts with an A if you were um, present during the last bits of my most recent live. You know what my real name is. Let me know in the comments if you're a real one. A for sure. And N, oh my God, like they're calling me out kind of. That often happens that I get called out in my... Uh, readings here but your angels are with you and they're holding these candles and they will lead you out of your own darkness as well our angels here they are kind of like those people working at the airport who um, have these things in hand I don't know what they're called but they um, give signals to the pilots and those people are true angels you know people who get all the praise are always the pilots but I had many military pilots say without those guys on the ground we'd be lost because they manage um, the air traffic on the ground oh my god I'm getting this earth angel energy again we have earth angels helping us manage life here on the earth plane they want to help you they want to help you get glimpses of heaven so that you can find the way out of the dark and visit your loved one so it is possible because part of you is always in heaven and they're showing us the way emerging yes i love that look that is us you can be a man watching this but we can emerge out of the darkness and look how high vibrational this is. Um, I feel like because your loved ones had quite a heavy, difficult life, they're not as much able to for now to visit us or to give you guys signs we need to visit them and you can do it. White lilies angel wings if you find feathers that's a sign from your angels that they will help you uplift your energies kind of leave your body and go to heaven so um we need to go be with them and not the other way around because they need that retreat and we can witness that we can watch it and we can have that retreat too okay that's why that's what yogis do and they get so addicted to it because they truly manage to be in heaven but that takes a lifetime of true dedication so we can't be yogis um we can't because we have jobs we have a family yogis do not do have to do that to our extent so don't be jealous of them um we can do it miracles and expect some miracles you might have a really miraculous out-of-body experience if you set your mind and heart to it look at this light again in the darkness i have to take a closer look if i can see what that is oh my god guys that looks like a little fairy if you believe in fairies i do they're real they're nature spirits you have some nature spirits nature angels around you and you will have a miracle soon if you set your mind to it. Look, there's the fairy again on the border here. Um, this is your angel saying, go out, spend time in nature and maybe do the guided um, nature retreat meditation out there. And you will experience a true miracle when you least expect it. You will experience that blessing. And I'm seeing that some of you might be able to hug your loved one, like experience a hug when you visit them in heaven like a hug maybe you will soon have a dream after doing this meditation about hugging your loved ones wow this almost makes me cry i see many of you guys watching hugging your loved ones visiting them in heaven and feeling that love and that joy let me know if that happened to you you there's a miracle in store for you if you're still watching and if you're following the guidance guys let's get some tarot cards they're my own. I bought them myself. If anyone else would like to send in some cards or crystals, I have an Amazon wish list link down below. And this card wants to be seen right now. It's also purple. It's the purple heart tribe here is coming through strongly in this pile. Guys, the Empress. That's this card also fell out in uh, group number one. So if you felt drawn to watching number one, definitely do. Motherly energy and the rabbit. This gives Alice in Wonderland vibes where she's out in nature and she follows this rabbit and she falls down the rabbit hole, but the rabbit hole takes her to a place of fantasy and miracles. If you see a rabbit out in nature, guys, follow that rabbit. 
Where will the rabbit take you? Or if you see a bird or an insect, follow that animal. It will be a spirit animal leading you to a sacred place. I feel like an animal will show you the perfect place for your meditation outside. If you don't have any animals around you, just let your uh, heart guide you there. And by the way, I have on my second YouTube channel a spirit animal um, reading. I will try to remember to link it down below. Watch it. We all have our spirit animals and yours is coming through strongly. Your guides, you have a spirit animal guide. And this is all about love and connection. And I see this image as the hug. You could have been in a mother-child relationship with this loved one, but it doesn't have to be. You don't have to be in a parental um, relationship with someone in order to experience that kind of unconditional nurturing love that typically a mother gives. That's the kind of love you will feel during that miracle. Oh my God, these cards are so chunky. <laughs> Help. Wow, the sun's coming out, guys. Wow, it's so gloomy today and the sun's coming out. Oh my God. The sun is coming out. Look at this butterfly. Three of water celebration community friendship. Guys, do exactly what I told you to do. This is absolute confirmation. You will all, if you wait long enough and if you are in the right um, energies, you will see an animal, a rabbit, a bird, an insect outside leading you to the sacred space in nature where you should meditate and where you can connect to your angels who will help you visit your loved ones in heaven. Okay, this is a sacred blessed place that your spirit animals will take you to. And you can have a reunion there and a celebration if you set your intention and your mind to it, guys. It takes dedication. I know that this card wants to be turned around. Wow, Nina Earth. Contentment, luxury, independence. This lady, she's wearing purple. Love that. And we have the rainbow. And look at that. What is that? That is my rainbow reflection. Maybe what the next time you see a rainbow, I know that doesn't happen too often, rainbow showing up with the angel. Follow the rainbow or walk into that direction. Also, some of you, you might have a wonderful garden or a balcony, which is your sacred place. Um, if you live in a city or somewhere unsafe, this sacred place could be your garden, but make sure it's outside so that you can connect with uh, nature. And this is where you will experience this miracle. And if you have a piece of jewelry that you got from your loved one, or like maybe some cutlery I'm hearing, or a clothing item, wear that, take that with you when you do that kind of um, meditation ritual. Asa Earth, guys, again. The little boy with the butterfly and a feather and the leaves. Um, it's autumn now if you found this reading in real time and if you live on the northern hemisphere. Watch out for bird feathers as well. They might lead you to that mm, sacred retreat. Know that you're guided and know that you need to educate yourself some more so that you can have this visitation experience. But follow the butterfly, follow the rabbit. You will have amazing experiences here on Earth. Miracles. Again, the letter A. I feel like this is talking to me as well. So if you're vibing with this, we truly the Purple Heart family. <laughs> we are in the same boat. Follow your spirit guide, guys. Really, like if I forget to link in the description box my spirit animal reading, let me know in the comments. Some final advice, please. So your loved ones, they don't want to say that much to you. They just want to hug you and make you um, feel that same experience of nurturing, replenishment. Okay. Um, they want to love you. They can't say much. Trust your path. This person's you. Just walk your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Like trust that you're guided. Your angels are with you. And really go out today after this reading. If you can, follow your insect friend or your rabbit or like the feathers. Where do they take you? Because there is a portal. There is this sacred space portal. I also have a supernatural portal reading on my second channel that you should watch. 
um, have great readings on my second channel. Play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. Yes, have fun with this. You know, if you choose to have fun on your spiritual journey, it can be so much fun, guys. I've had so many great experiences with nature spirits and fairies. Undescribable when I go to my fairy forest. Um, she's a mermaid, by the way, so just be playful about it and write down all the little miracles that you have experienced in a special dedicated um, journal. Write down your dreams and it will raise your vibration so much. Your loved ones want you to do that. And our grandmother of Jesus. So this doesn't have to be Jesus. All religions have truths in them. And all religions are right. There is no one religion that is better than the rest. And there is no one religion that is worse than all the rest. Religion is abused by politics. So don't take scripture. Literally take out the little truths and reject what truly in your heart does not feel right. Okay. And if you're not Christian, then um, put instead of Jesus what you believe in. This can be Mother Nature for you, this mother. It can be a fairy. It can be Buddha. It can be Allah. I don't know. It can be a native Indian spirit, an African one. I don't know. But here she is again, the Empress, divine, motherly, nurturing energy, protective energy. And that reminds me of a little prayer that my mom would say to me when I was little. It's about Mother Mary opening her arms and protecting me underneath her um, her dress, her coat, sending the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Trust the plan, guys. And you will you will see parts of the plan if you set your mind to it and you will actually be able to visit your loved one in that heaven sphere and experience blissful healing as well. All right, so that's all I have for you for now. If you enjoyed the reading, give it a thumbs up. Please comment, subscribe if you want to become a member of the Purple Heart family. Turn on the bell for notifications so that you will never miss out on any reading on my channel in the future. Take very good care and to soon up free. Bye. Hi everyone who resonated with group number three, the meditation oracle card and this rose quartz crystal drop. We will be energetically visiting your loved ones in heaven. We can do that because our higher selves are always in heaven. Part of us, of us is always there with our angels, with our deceased loved ones. That's why we survive. That's why we have this life to begin with. Okay. Now, uh, keep in mind, reading is for the collective. Not everything will resonate. Take what does. Feel peaceful about what doesn't. It will be for someone else, but... I'm getting amazing vibes here because it's a pink, you know, um, pink vibes, rose quartz vibes. Um, you can be asking about old, young, male, female, but I am getting young females coming through. I am picking up on my spirit friend um, who is so sweet. I'm having a hard time today. I have some health issues and she just put her hand on my shoulder because I asked her for support and she put her hand on my shoulder to give me some of her energies and her energies are like this and your loved one's energies are also like this so this is kind of gentle typically female energies and if you're asking about a man they can have these girl like gentle female love energies like the color pale pink what does it make you feel it's that kind of vibe that I'm getting um and they are not always a part of us is always in heaven here also for loved ones they can be fully in heaven or just partly they can come back your loved ones are earthbound still because they still have some very important connections that keep them from crossing over and it's part of their soul contract. They agree to this. We all agree to our soul contracts. It's not our ego brain that makes these contracts. It's the higher self. It's the brain of the soul, which you should not mistake. Educate yourself on the difference, please. So their higher selves and their guides agreed to your loved ones transiting between the earth and the heavens so they could still have some obligations to i don't know be a catalyst for your spiritual awakening they could still um, be a guardian angel for a child they left behind or for a sibling or a parent even so they're kind of stuck 
on the earth plane to some extent, so we can visit them here actually. But I still want to make that heavenly connection today and we see heavenly in the background, these awesome pastel colours. And this looks like the moon and the moon stands for the supernatural and the depths of the soul. And um, meditation, your loved ones, they're still kind of contemplating on their past lives that they just lost. And um, they're still very involved with stuff that is going on in your guys' situation right now. But it's all based on love. I am getting now that your loved ones are a bit concerned about a private matter. We're a bit concerned about a private matter, guys. I have stuff here on my desk and I have this box where I keep my uh, earphones and it's got a pink bow on it. Oh my god, my frog. <laughs> I keep my pencils in this see-through frog thingy and he has a pink um, bow as well. There's something about pink bows. Um, did your loved ones used to wear pink bows in their hair? Or like, There's something about a pink bow. It's lovely. Lovely energy. Oh, I love that so much. I really needed that. Um, let's see what else they want to say. And if you are a person who likes pink, definitely put out more pink stuff in your room that will attract and nurture your loved one's energies. Only if that resonates with you. If you don't like pink, no worries. But I feel like many of you here will like pink. Um, your loved ones, they love pink. My spirit friend, she loves pink. I love that pale pink, pastel pink. I love it so much. Um... I feel like I need to show you the um, earphone container. Sometimes I show items and then people freak out and say, oh my God, God, guys, bows are popping up everywhere. Pink bow here on my um, earphone container. I can't show you my froggy friend, but red bow on this October bunny. What is it about the bows? Oh my God. And even a bunny Sharpie here in front of me has a bow on it. I don't know. It wants to be seen. Blue bunny can be a sign for you or cuddly toy. There's something about children coming through. So maybe a loved one was a child or there is a child or this is about your inner child. I see pink cards. I see girliness. That's how you can connect and bring a little piece of heaven um, down to earth. You know, when you do like stuff like that, high vibrational, pastel loving things. And they are saying... Your loved ones are saying, says my spirit friend, and I feel like that's how I attracted her because like we like the same things. Put out flowers, get more color. I need that, I use that for energy. Our loved ones, they need energy in order to make signs happen, okay, in order to make themselves known and they draw energy from high vibrations. Color is high vibration, get rid of gray, and black, if you love that, it's up to you. Like, it's your own personal taste. But know that these colors, they're not necessarily that good in all circumstances. Stop wearing black. If, like, someone here is a very dark person, um, you dress in black, you have a lot of black and dark stuff, and your loved ones, they do not like it. They do not like the, the dark color scheme. They say, please, more color. I need more color. <laughs> Ooh, Serenity. I love how she... Wow, she's so beautiful. Is that the Art Deco style? Oh my god, that reminds me of a Lana Del Rey song, Art Deco. Now I see a concert. Some of your loved ones... <sighs> did they go to a concert before they passed away? Or did you... Like, the last thing you did together was that going to a concert? Or did you both like Lana Del Rey? I don't know. There is something about concert and Lana Del Rey. Pink flowers again and lilies. I oh, hear yes, stargazer lilies. Um, but any lily really and serenity, guys. Uh, be more serene in a sense is what they're saying. Be more mindful. Be more, be very serious. It's like, sorry, they're telling me so many words. Be so serious about this whole heaven experience on earth. Look how we have pastel green and pastel pink together. Green and pink are the heart chakra colors. Um, I used to not like that color combination, but now I love it more and more. And that's kind of the theme in my room. And my spirit friend is saying, I love that. I have so many plants and I have pink plant pots. And that's kind of the color vibe here. And I love it. Um, 
they're all about colors. Your loved ones love color. And they're saying, I come visit you, you attract me through colors. I peek through the veil. For some of your loved ones, especially in personal readings, which I will probably open again soon, I see their faces like through a veil. And that's how I saw my spirit friend when I first did a personal reading for one of my viewers. She stepped forward and I, I saw her kind of her rough facial features, like the how young she was and the hair and everything. The layer that separates you guys from your loved ones is thin like this veil. And they will peek through if you do things that they find attractive. <laughs> Okay, and they're smiling, they're laughing. I say, yes, I come through when you do nice things for me. So put flowers out for them. There is something about a bouquet as well. Yeah, that's why um, what's soon coming, Dia de Muertos, um, so the Day of the Dead, um, if you celebrate that traditionally, you put out your loved one's favorite snacks. Maybe do that, put out their favorite snacks. Um, they can't eat it, but the energy, um, like they remind what they felt when they had that snack, like the joy, the satisfaction, the like flavor explosion in their mouth. They still get that energy and that energy nurtures them so they can come through. And they're saying, yeah, yeah, heaven is nice and such. I've been there, but I want to come visit you and I want to make you see that heaven is real. But please um, be a nice host. They're laughing. You need to be a good host. Balance. Angel of balance. Crystal ball. Uh, I'm getting psychic downloads. So hang on. Eyeball. Vision. They want to show you something. They want to show you something now for your healing. What do you want to show us? Um, and letter M. I see the letter M now. And N. Ooh, what? Surrender and release. Okay, they want to show you that when you release something, you make room for something new. And you allow for the energies to flow again. So they're asking for you to please release them of their duties. Um, allow for them to transition onto heaven if you still are too attached. And know that nothing ever disappears and they want to show you proof that they're not gone. They will just choose a different vessel, a different physical form for the new existence, but they're still with you and they're trying to send you so many signs. But there is something that you need to release because it's weighing you down, it's weighing them down. There's um, heaviness that ties them to the earth plane for some of you. You need to release and I'm not judging anyone. But many people, they hold on to their loved ones so much. They do not accept that they passed away. And guys, you do not own anyone. For those of you who have trouble with that, listen. They're saying listen. Wow. Yeah, listen to me right now, please. I always have, like, I feel bad giving you guys tough love, but it needs to be heard. Some of you, you say things like, I will never be happy again without this person. I will never be whole again. I cry every day. I'm broken. If you keep on saying that, it makes your loved one feel so guilty and you keep them from finding happiness in heaven and you do not own them. You do not own their soul. The divine owns their soul. You do not own them, okay? You need to let them go to the arms of, of God, to into the arms of the angels, whatever you believe in, okay and everything I preach here is well I'm telling myself because I need to heal too and I always ask for my angels to give me guidance and help me have the strength to say the truth and to give information that serves the greatest good for everyone involved so this is angel wisdom that is coming and please listen do not shut your eyes as soon as you hear um shut your eyes okay i do not close your eyes to the truth and do not um hold like like those monkey emojis like the monkey um uh, who doesn't want to listen blocks the ears doesn't want to see blocks the eyes doesn't want to speak blocks the mouth don't be like the monkey emoji be open release let the tears flow yes but purge 
your loved ones um, are very worried about a specific family member who is very low vibrational and he's who's not on a good path with their healing journey it keeps your loved ones from finding healing in heaven i feel like it's not you watching it's someone else in the family let go and trust that you will see them again you will have new opportunities listen to angelic guidance and wisdom yeah they're really saying um the loved ones thank you for to me thank you for speaking the truth and thank you to you if you're still watching for hearing the truth like if if you're still here watching this say pile three still here because i always want to know if i give tough love and difficult guidance who actually listens or who says no i don't want that i i'll pick a different uh, channel or a different uh, pile if you're still here kudos to you you will heal you'll find heaven on earth say pile three still here i'll drop a purple heart if you're a member of the purple heart family like the video please guys i need it um show some love Love is all we need. I hear love songs in my head. Seven of air. Yes. Okay, there is a child here for some of you. Awareness, caution, consequences. A child was left behind, maybe. There's a difficult situation regarding a child. Why? That's why your loved one's still around. And if you have a child, please um, let that child in on the truth that death is not the end, that this person that went away is still with them. And that this child has angels and also here for you guys watching if you're worried everyone has angels around them especially that child caution they're very worried about the child here or like um a vulnerable person if it's not a child they are very worried your loved ones about this vulnerable person oh my god kids the wheel luck progress change so there will be change and depending on what you guys make of it, it will be positive or negative change. The future is never written in stone. Only certain um, milestones are written on our path. But how we reach them, if they, we reach them, is up to you. So this is about going with the flow. This is about children. Um, if you have been uh, doing good on your healing journey, you will have a fortunate turn of events, especially regarding that child, maybe custody situation or a health situation, legal situation, or maybe if you don't have children, any like positive turn of events, but there is the danger that it will be an unfortunate turn of events. So do the spiritual work, find acceptance and peace, let it flow, release. 10 of air something is ending something will come to an end soon okay and it will either lead to freedom or to death okay it will either re lead to recovery or to ongoing severe pain I know that it's in your hands but something is approaching that's why loved ones are concerned maybe it's um a date for a legal thing or um, something else like a confrontation something's coming up and it will be a final event of some sort but what you make of it is up to you and your loved ones are a bit worried that's why they're with you especially now that's why they don't want to be in heaven they want to assist you three of air sorrow forgiveness healing so they're clearly saying anyone who caused you harm Anyone who gave you trouble, even if it was them, they might feel remorse. Accept it that it happened to you. Trust that your higher self chose this. Release it. Give it to the divine. Um, release these negative emotions. Because if you hang on, if you choose bitterness and all of that negative stuff, you cause, you manifest more bitterness and there will not be this fortunate event. It's in your hands. Choose peace, acceptance, balance. All right, focus on karma and karmic justice and this will go very well. But that your loved ones are hoping that you're listening. Um, and this Empress card like just showed itself. I'm not going to use it, but motherly love for those of you who will resonate with this motherly love. Motherly love. The Empress showed herself in every pile. Now let's get some final guidance. Um, what is that? Imrama. 
Does anyone recognize that? Um, where are you being called to journey to? Yeah, follow your journey. Let life unfold for you. Your loved ones will be watching your journey from heaven, hopefully, in the future. Um, but they're saying um, you're on the right path. Don't resist the path. And you will cause blockages for your path if you keep, if you spend all of your energy hating on your past path. Stop doing that. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. Yeah, you can only dream a new world into being if you say that you are now waking up to the old world. Humanity is going through a shift right now. And many people who are asleep still, they will stay asleep forever. They will not be part of the new world. So keep on doing your spiritual work, you guys. Your loved ones want you to do that. And I feel like they will be part of the new world when they come back and they want you to follow them. But you can only do that if you let go, if you purge, if you release. Educate yourselves. And uh, connect more with your spirit guides. Ah, guides, spirit guides. Connect more with them. I have a spirit guide reading on my second channel as well. Awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. Know that the bad things that happen to you, which can be horrible, I know what I'm talking about you. Don't see that as punishment. See it as a catalyst for awakening. If you see it as punishment, if you see it as injustice, then you will stay asleep forever. You will not make it out. You will not be part of the new world. So guys, please educate yourselves. There are so many great videos Almost no one watches my educational videos and those tend to be the people who complain and leave hateful comments. But the truth is out there. It's up to you if you have an interest in that truth. And if you do, you'll be fine. You will wake up to the new world, which will be a much higher vibrational one. And your loved ones, they're worried about you and they want you to be part of that new world. That's why they're with you now and not so much in heaven, but they're very heavenly beings. So guys, that's all I have for you for now. If you enjoyed the reading, please give it a thumbs up and comment. Subscribe if you want to become a member of the Purple Heart family. Turn on the bell for notifications so that you will never miss out on a new reading on my channel in the future. Take very good care and to see you next Bye.